Hi there, I'd like to introduce you to soundless inflatable bags, or as we at Australian Eco Products call them, SIBs. SIBs are set to revolutionise flood mitigation techniques across Australia, and I'm going to show you why. As you'd know, with traditional sandbags, such as these ones, which were used in the recent Brisbane floods, you have to travel long distances to pick up the sandbags in your own car. They weigh about 15 to 20 kilos. You might be able to fit sort of five, six or seven of them in your vehicle. Then you've got to drive all the way home again and put them in place. As we saw in the recent Brisbane floods, five or six sandbags is simply not enough. So let's have a look at a sieve. They come in boxes of 20. Inside the box are four bags sealed that contain five sieves. So they're lightweight and manageable, even like that. If I open the bag and remove a sieve, as you can see, it's basically just a light Hessian bag. It weighs about 750 or 800 grams. You don't have to do a lot to them. Just simply throw them in water. So as you can see, to do now. all I've done is I've grabbed a plastic container from the shed. Everyone has these around the house these days. And I've just grabbed the garden hose and filled it full of water, or about three quarters actually. So I'm just going to take the sieve and I'm going to place it in the water and push it in. This is the most efficient way to inflate a sieve. To just submerge it in the water and just gently agitate it. It'll take about two and a half minutes to inflate. While we're just letting that soak, some of the other applications of sieves, well, they can be used for greening around the house. You might dig a hole, plant a nice tree. If it's a bit dry, you can put a sieve in the hole and that'll promote excellent root growth. They can be used for erosion something we've seen a lot of in Australia recently. That sieve's already started to take on the water. They take on between 20 and 25 litres of water and end up weighing about 25 kilos. You might notice that these are some sieves that I've inflated previously and just stack them up in a bit of a wall, just like you'd see in any flood situation. The thing with these sieves, this is a sandbag, as I said, that was used during the Brisbane floods. Because sandbags need to be tied off, you really lose a lot of their coverage. Now that sandbag still weighs between 15 and 20 kilos, but if I compare it to a sieve, you can see how much bigger the sieve is once it's fully inflated. I'll just leave that one there and go back to this. Now as you can see, that's been just over a minute now and that sieve is really starting to take on a lot of water. Imagine the difference where you've got to go and get sandbags, you've got to fill them with sand, you've got to put them in your boot, you've got to take them home. Not everyone's able to do that. You can have a box of sieves just basically so sitting, really in the sitting in the cupboard is 20 sandbags, and actually more. So you, you can see now that, that bag is a good 20 kilos there, and that's not fully inflated yet. That's been about oh, a minute and three quarters. Using this method, after about two and a half minutes, they're pretty well done. It's not the only way to inflate a sieve. You could actually just get a sieve and lay it straight on the ground. Grab the garden hose and simply stand and just allow the water to gently run on it. It'll still absorb the water without any runoff. It'll take a little bit longer to absorb the water, but as I said, not everyone's able to lift a 20 kilo bag. Also, if the flood waters are rising gently, you can just put the sieves in or close to the water, and as the water rises, the sieve will absorb the water. So this sieve's just about fully inflated now. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to put it on top so you can have a look. So 
So what we have there is a fully inflated sieve. A couple of other things that you might like to know about sieves. They're environmentally friendly. They're biodegradable. All the materials used in sieves are non-toxic. Just like with the sandbag, if the water that they've absorbed was contaminated, you'll have to put them in a landfill. The difference is, with a sieve, if it's just absorbed fresh water, which it was made to do, you just use it in your garden. There's a lot of information contained on our website. If you'd like to know more about sieves, please have a look at www.sibs.com.au. Thanks very much.